Numbers from the University of Utah show the state's national ranking when it comes to fertility, and it took a tumble from first to fourth. Here's how different circumstances led to the drop in ranking. New numbers from the Kemsey Gardner Policy Institute at the University of Utah show Utah's fertility rate has been declining. So as we know, Utah's fertility is declining. In 2010, it was around um, 2.45, and now we're at 1.9. The numbers signify how many births are taking place per woman. That's a pretty large drop. That's a decrease of about 22%. Emily Harris with the Kemsey Gardner Policy Institute says despite the size of the drop in Utah, it's not the biggest drop nationwide. Utah has been declining fairly rapidly and it's about the seventh highest decline in the nation over the last decade. But all states in the United States have declined in their fertility over the last decade. There hasn't been a single state that's seen an increase either. Harris says the data does not explain why people nationwide are having fewer children. However, she also says there are patterns in people's decision when it comes to having kids. Higher education in women, higher income households, they also tend to have less children. Teen birth rates are decreasing, which obviously is a very good thing. Um, people are postponing marriage, which can often then lead to people starting to have children later in their lives. There is also an economic component that affects the decision to have a bigger family. As an economic recession looms, oftentimes that impacts people's decisions to have children as well, if there's uncertainty about what's going on. And new information when it comes to fertility. The Center for Health Statistics came out with a report a couple months ago looking at national data for 2021 and noticed that the national total fertility rate actually increased a little bit. Data for individual states will come out at the end of this year. Amy Ney, Fox 13 News, Utah.